it's uh, Monday, uh, the 3rd of September 2012. Just updating uh, where we are with the um, Maui Tidal Energy Project. Uh, we're just um, going through a period of time now where we're trying to uh, sort out uh, Maori issues on the land and the seabed um, before we uh, uh, continue. But the shares are out. On, uh, on our website, moaipowerhouse.com and uh, you'll just see it's all set up uh, with the uh, uh, currencies um, in Euro and uh, we're just going to change the other currency as well to pound notes uh, for the um, Conister Bank in London and also Nutella, we're using Nutella um, uh, card, um, MasterCard uh, for deposits, for share, uh, uh, the billion shares that we've got on offer. And also we're using, <coughs> this is this is for right around the world, uh, so we're uh, going to uh, use Facebook and Twitter, uh, all the contacts in there, uh, to let them know the, uh, and um, try and communicate that way, uh, because it takes quite a bit to... Um, market um, uh, this project uh, energy, uh, tidal energy in the seabed uh, with the turbines uh, so it's quite a bit, bit of work to do although we've set up everything now uh, it's still, uh, it's still a, a little bit of way to go though we have the financials in place uh, for shares uh, because it's a startup company uh, all the um, um, technical side of things are, is done. The hydrogen, solid hydrogen, and Taiwan, uh, the um, equipment, supply equipment. And also, we've got a new uh, workshop um, uh, with my friend Kevin uh, Rees uh, up in uh, Whangaparoa, uh, North Shore of Auckland. Uh, so, I've just been there yesterday. And um, we've just, oh, Saturday, sorry. And so, we've just teaming up together again to um, put our plans together for the power project. Um, just so we're just holding off at the moment with Transpower and Contact Energy uh, to try to um, set up set up the fuel cells and the uh, project uh, first at the East Cape, North Island, New Zealand, just off my land blocks at Lotton Point. So we're just I'm just going to Gisborne uh, to sort out the land. Uh, claims uh, back to our Hapu uh, East Cape Lighthouse around that area and Rotoroya and up to Tolaga Bay to uh, Cape Runaway and Rokumara Range. That Rokumara Range runs into the seabed and so that's land right to the sea and the uh, Rokumara Basin where we're going right out uh, 20 to 200 miles out uh, with this um, tidal turbine platform with the power. Generation from the sea currents into electricity, and then we split the seawater into oxygen, hydrogen, and then compress it into metal. Store the uh, hydrogen as metal, and we can carry more and last longer. Won't lose a drop. So that's that uh, side of things. But I just wanted to um, uh, let you know the project is on on track. Uh, and you wouldn't see me much on Facebook because I'm doing a lot of work here in our office in Auckland and to put something together uh, for the East Cape. Uh, we've got all the plans ready for there in the seabed, so we're going to get our Maori government going and our confederation, and we're off to the UN to get a mandate to uh, run our own selves and uh, straight to England, straight to the Westminster Parliament, go to the lower house, up into the upper house, we have the authority to do that as uh, Māori, uh, hapu, yeah, so this is something the, the Crown here is going to get used to in a hurry uh, before long, so uh, Moa is in the middle of that, I see it on Facebook, uh, the statue uh, that that's, um, overlaps uh, the Confederation title, uh, and they both go together. Those were put together, the Moa, and the Confederation was put together by Tahiti. Uh, Ngāpuhi, up north for the uh, Confederation, and uh, us down there, the Hapu um, uh, at uh, East Cape, 
uh, uh, Pohatu uh, is Rotoria and um, Hawiti, that's the other hapu, Te Atenga Hawiti, and Rua Waipu uh, at the East Cape, that's ours, our uh, hapu. And, uh, but my, uh, my Wānoa uh, history involves the Maui statue there at um, Okunui, uh, Tipito, uh, to Uetaha, uh, ancestor uh, inheritance. So that is very strong. Straight to, uh, from Mokunui, the hill, to Orapanui, this uh, east island. Tipito over there, Tipito over there, birth of New Zealand, uh, the east cape, birth of the world, at east island. So those are just significant things that goes with this uh, tidal energy project. It's spiritual, it's clean, and uh, God's, God's work. Yep. And it's uh, not corrupted. So I just wanted to... Um, let people read it first on my website and grasp what we're doing as um, shared right through the will. So it's not only about us, it's about the sovereign people of the will. That's what this uh, platform in the sea is for. It's a sovereign state um, of its own. Maui uh, crown, the crown on his head, the hat that you see on the Maui's head, that's his uh, intelligence. Supernatural, straight into the universe, God's, God's uh, plan. He um, instructed uh, our Tahitian people to make a face for him. So they made a face for him. You don't know which one, we do. And then they made one for our own um, families, royal families. And so the Queen, in her wisdom, Queen Victoria, goes and just nabs one of them off our land and takes it back to England. And so next minute, the French got one. And uh, Brussels, pick up one too, Belgium, and New Zealand, even didn't pull one up and brought it over here. Thank you very much to put it over here in Auckland. So now that's my authority here uh, to our Tahitians, the first ones that got here uh, at that time. Okay? I'm just saying they went by air, not, not a plane. They levitate at that time because they used God's power, mana. To do it. You couldn't do it without karakia and uh, being ritual and spiritual. So those things are still in us. And we apply that uh, to our projects, our tidal energy projects. We respect the sea. As you see, the oil is spilling everywhere. That's not us. That's from the West. That's a uh, white man. You see, I don't white and me. That's Irish. Huh? Uh, Cosgrove. And um, so they came here. They came here and Made, made that colour in us. And so we didn't go to England, or to Ireland, or to Scotland, or to France. They came this way, to the east. Right? Everybody come and look for the sun. It's over there, on the east cape. Tipiso. Okay? Mukunui. And so, that's how the story goes. We put the history, uh, without the past, there's no future. Right? Anybody just says, forget about the past, they've got their, their head in the sand because you try and tell that to the Romans and try and tell that to the English or the Japanese for that matter or the Chinese for that matter you wouldn't be a very, very good friend of theirs so we're the same we have our history and everybody that's come here to live came here on that 1843 Waitangi document right? the 1835 was to the king the 1840 is Wellington crown to the queen right? that's that crown on their head Ours is the Moai, he's he got a crown on his head too. So that's a dirt one. That's an earth one, right? DNA. But the Queen, you've got a metal one, you know, you melt it down and sell it. Not this one. It stays there every day, thousands of years. Okay? And our history goes to uh, Giza, uh, Nubia, Sudan, uh, Mali, and Ghana, and Africa. That's us, Tahitian, the same black DNA. Uh, the white ones on the other side of Israel, bad Israel, and bad American. Americans come from over there too, so they're all playing up. They're all making mess of the world, earth, of God's, God's earth. Spray the skies, kill the sheer fish, kill the humans, shoot them off the land. Bad west. Right? So we are going to do our own thing under our own law, God law. Right? Not main law, God law. Now that's what Moses is about. Moai, statue, 
uh, he's a god law. Right? We go to his face. We don't go to a metal piece of junk on the head. Right? And the Queen is, is up for murder now. But the Pope, those two churches, the church, is up for murder. That's bad. Right? So the American Indians found all the children buried in the churchyards after they sold the church. See? They just disposed of the church and hopes it goes away. It's not going to go away. No, that's still on their blood on their hands. So any of those things are um, we're clear up with our project and we have a straight run for the future. The uh, kids of the future, um, that's what we leave behind. We leave behind something uh, to fix all of this up. I'm going to have to go and fix it all up. And uh, that's, that's, that's what we're about. That's what this project is about. And I just want to let you know that um, uh, I'll be going down to Gisborne to um, talk to our people and uh, sort it out. Uh, forget about the government of Wellington. We're going to do our own government, uh, Maori government, and a Maori government. Maori government on the sea, on the platform, with the turbines, that's a sovereign state. All the people of the world, members of there, and that's there, they can come here through there. Right? And soon the Kura, on the, on the land, up at Waitangi, that's where the authority is for the um, uh, 1835 uh, Declaration of Independence of this country, John Key and Wellington, with the Queen, got no independence. They didn't find this place, right? So they just make it up and uh, assume sovereignty of the Queen of England. We've got our own sovereignty, and that's why the King gave us a flag to recognise our own sovereignty. So we use that flag for ad admiralty law of the sea, right through the well. And anybody drilling holes in the sea, they're going to hear from us, right? I'll do the documents, the legal side, for the Maori government, and also for the Maori government, any other government that's run for the people and for Maori for that matter because they're the original ones and the Crown can't buy this country out because they've got to settle Maui first right? after they finish settling themselves, the iwi right? the Crown's talking to itself not nice but now the Crown's going to talk to the hapu nice ok, thank you very much and we'll see you again soon sometime bye bye for now and look after each other, won't you?